God bless you. God bless you. Hello everyone. God bless you. Today I'm doing a prayer walk for the hurricane victims of Houston. Other day I made a post and song and a message for the hurricane victims of Houston. How are we? Uh, today I'm doing the prayer walk. Uh, while I'm carrying the love of Jesus Christ today, God gave me a heart to pray for them. I was keep on praying for the victims and the, the crews were stretching their hands, helping hands, financial cloth drive, money drive, in different ways. I encourage all of you, please, first, pray for the victims and residents and their houses are flooded with water. They are evacuated from their lovely dwelling places and uh, they are going through the terrible times no clothes no food and uh, no moving so have a compassion and pray for them let's work together let's love together and uh, we just pray to god and god will send you his power and uh, deliverance even though we are sometimes going through the tough times in our life uh, God taught me one lesson now. Let me take a U-turn over here. And uh, uh, just one minute, small, lovely clip, then I will stop here. Uh, that, uh, you know, that sometimes there will be some tough times will happen in our life. That's a fact. One way or another, Everyone, every single individual, like a human beings, will go through some tough times in our life. That something may be a little tough, maybe sickness, lacking of some needs. But let me tell you one thing: God presence will be with us. Do you know the one? All the story in the Bible is coming to my mind that Israelites were delivered from the bondage Pharaoh and Egypt. And when they come close, getting close to the Red Sea, they didn't have the way to go forward. God opened the ways, opened the sea for them. And it was a miracle of God. And again, when they were traveling through wilderness, they didn't have anything in their life. They didn't have anything except God. And it, to them, it was looked like a little tough time. They didn't have a water. They didn't have a food. They didn't have a shelter. They didn't have a, a nothing in the wilderness. But basically, the 2.5 million people as a big group they were fed by God they were clothed by God protected and provided by God we are serving and loving such a great God let me come back to the application of the this situation in Houston even if sometimes some points when we go through the tough times in our life. And you and I also may go one way or another, may go through some tough times. I have went through some other tough times. You know the purpose behind that one, not to destroy us, not to kill us. Our God is not having a sadistic pleasure, no. You know, even if we are rich, are handsome and beautiful, we have a palatial house, health insurance, all luxurious cars and all the things. Some point in our life, we will realize one thing. None of these things will help us. Only God. Only God. So none of these things of this world will help us in our life some point. 
So God is expecting that we should know that God is a source of everything. The health, the financial, the clothes, the food, even our life itself is the blessing of God. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. They like that one. So, I take your attention to that. Almighty God, never forget God. Trust in the Lord. Even if we have plenty of resources in this world, it can disappear any time. It can disappear any time. But in the end, and throughout our life, God will be the only one with you and me. And we have an eternal life. Remember Jesus. Jesus is the Savior of the world. He can redeem us, save us from the sinful life. And He will be our all throughout, ultimate, final, and 24-7 helper. That is a hotline. Jesus Christ. May God bless you. Please spread this news to your family and family friends and church and friends and neighborhood. Let's all work together, stretching our loving hands through our sharing and financial or helping or through prayer. Just help them. We are already doing our stretching loving hands to them in a different ways. And this is one of the ways. So our church is talking about it. Our family is talking about it. May God bless you. Let's work together and stretch our hands, loving hands to these victims of Hurricane uh, Harvey. May God bless you. God is our source and everything. Thank you. God bless you.